It seems that adventure games are especially popular at the moment. Oh, really? Okay. Well, my big one's not going to be adventure, though. Oh, okay. Let's take advantage of this, actually. Develop a new game. We'll do, um... We'll, we'll go for it. We'll, we'll make an adventure game, because I do need more money before doing a big, massive, huge project hit thing. So, let's go with... D dessert Quest. It's punny this way, because it's like desert, but the delicious kind, and it'll be for kids. It's great. Pick a topic. I don't know if I can do adventure games, can I? M well, yeah, I can. It's a uh, military adventure? No. Mil medieval adventure? A racing adventure, like Forza Motorsports, newer game where it's just like out on the street, maybe. Um, sports adventure? No. Pirate adventure? That could be cool. Pirate adventure. Pick platform. Oh my gosh, the TES is really dropping 9.5 market share. I could go for the Super TES. Drop a bomb, pick up that new license. PC's not doing too bad, though. It's about 15%. About the same. Pick game engine. No. No game engine. No. Dessert Quest is a... Uh, kind of a budget game. Um, 2D graphics, yeah. It's for the kids. Kids love graphics. The TES is no longer supported. I released one game for the platform. And did a total of 224,000. Right. Okay. Engine? Not so much. Not so much engine. Gameplay? Yes. Story and quests? Not so much. Development stage 2. Dialogues, level design, or AI? AI is kind of becoming one of our things, but I really do want to focus on dialogue. Maybe we should keep it as a kind of a balance. Then again, it is a pirate adventure. You don't maybe not need as much AI for it. Dialogue, sure. Level design, yeah, it's an adventure. There we go. We'll focus on level design. And then we'll focus on world design as well, obviously. Trying to take advantage of adventure being the popular genre at the moment. World design, yes. Graphics, yes. Sound, not quite so much. Graphics, not so much. It's going to be our first game where the graphics is kind of sort of low. That's fine, though. Basic sounds. World design, yes. It's an adventure game, a pirate adventure game. There we go. Iron out those bugs. Maybe get a couple more design points in it. There we go. There we go. Good. Uh, hey. Oh. Hey. He fixed it right away. Ha. <laughs> Typo. New topic. New combo. Great combo. Yay. Engine. Gameplay almost leveled up. Whoa, trend match. 1.8, nice. I'm gonna take a little bit to pop in. Uh, looks like everything else is just kind of slowly, steadily increasing. Gameplay is almost level 4, though. Really interested to get gameplay up there to level 4, see what we can do. Maybe introduce that to our amazing action game. Let's release this one. I need the money. Fierce Reviews Desert Quest came in. It's a kid's game. It's a great kids game. Wow, look at this. 10. Everyone loves it. Well, kids love it. It's for the young audience, but that's fine. It's a must have. Holy shit, this is actually doing really well. More, please. Truly great. All games. Oh my gosh, it's another amazing thing. This might actually give us the financial stability to go for the. Uh... Oh my gosh. Not as much as race was it not as much as that it's still pretty dang good all right should i make another new game just to get the uh, gameplay up there just a quick little game player i i don't know it's for gameplay pick topic uh medieval simulation no you know what music let's go with music again so music RPG, no. Music, simulation, pick platform, PC, sure, why not? Pick game engine, no. No game engine. It's for everyone. It's going to be a cheap budget game. Uh, focusing on gameplay, seeing if I can get that up there. Latest game by Yonamangander Games has received very positive reviews overall. Star Games gave it a 10, saying everyone loves it. 
If Jormungandr Games continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. We are innovators. It's what we do. Could probably pick up another dude, actually. Somebody who's really good at design. So we get that balance. Gameplay, yes. Engine, probably focus on engine and gameplay. I don't need to focus too much on gameplay. It'll It's at the cusp of leveling. So we'll go for that. We hit top 10 for a while there. Dialogues? No. AI? Nah. I want to focus on AI, but I don't think it really applies to music simulation. But level design, yeah. Yeah, definitely level design. Might not release this game. I mean, it's getting to the point where I probably may as well. I don't think I'll take too much of a hit as far as fans go. Worst case. World design, yes. Graphics, yes. Sound. Well, this is a music game, so if I were to release it, it should have decent sounds. We'll keep those two balanced. Focus on world design, though. Not really sure how that would apply to music sim, but... Could be good. Technologically, this is actually pretty good. It almost broke 30. I think this is tied as far as the most technologically advanced game we've made. Dessert Quest is now off the market. It sold 182,000 units, generating over a million in sales. Wow, really that much? Jeez. All right. Technology 29. Uh, technology 30. 31. 32. 33. Oh my god, I'm just polishing the hell out of this. Look at this. Holy crap, any more? Jesus. 15 design, 35 technology. My god, it's like bank software, the video game. Gameplay level 4. Expected that. Not much else is on the cusp of leveling. That's okay. I was hoping AI might be a little higher than that, but... That's fine. Um, I can find my mouse. We'll release this game. Why not? Character progression. Oh my god, for like RPGs. Of course. Maybe we can make a really awesome, a, uh, a really awesome medieval RPG. Our first reviews for our newly released game, Game Player. I forgot, I, I forgot I named it that. That's a bad name for a game. That's fine. Whatever. It came in, though. Oh, my gosh. A 10. Must have by Star Games. A 10. A masterpiece by Inform... Gosh, we are just cranking them out. 10 by New Favorite. 9. One of the best. All games. Screw you, adventure genre. Music. Is where it's at. Well, simulation, I think. Wow. Awesome. Achievement cult status set a new standard for the early gaming industry. Dear Jormungandr Games, we have followed your progress in recent years and would like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the biggest game convention on the planet, Games Games Games, also known as G3. By having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games, and we think our audience would love to see you there. We will contact you yearly with booth options. Hope to see you at G3. Signed, the G3 Committee. Wow. Oh my god, the units. Holy crap, 170,000 units. It's ranked 2. A game that I made to just grind the gameplay to level 4, I think it was. Rank 2 in the first week, 170,000. It seems that the market has normalized again with no particularly strong trends at the moment. Yeah, I broke your trend with my amazing music game annihilated your trend picked up how many fans 1.9 i thought it said 19,000 fans holy crap still ranked two third weekend sales going up a little bit and now it looks like they're dropping off a little bit at about 340,000. still ranked third game player the newest game by Jormungandr games has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers industry professionals say the game player is one of these rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games that's what we do High technology. It seems that Jormungandr Games has really made gaming history with Gameplayer. Well done. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You're welcome. I mean, it, nothing big, you know, no big deal. I suppose we could just uh, stop staring at the money rolling in and actually research stuff. Character progression, yeah. 120,000 credits and a good bit of uh, research points. Ninja. Ugh. Ninja. Yeah. Yeah. Gamepad. Finally doing that gamepad research. 
So you can really like play a console game on your PC. That's what we're aiming for here. You can play it how you want on the PC. It's great. Gamepad completed, character progression completed. Look at that. He's getting a little tired. Game player is now off the market. It's still just under half a million units, generating 3.4 million in sales. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. Research the joystick for like flight sim games. That'd be cool. Or really get the arcade feel. Maybe for a fighting game, a racing game. Not really an RPG though, I don't think. Hmm. Go ahead and research Ninja. And then go on vacation. And yeah, that's save. Things are looking really good. Over 5 million. Ah, the big game convention will take place in four weeks time. Do you want to participate? Small booth, small pump of sand where we can show our marketing material. It isn't very impressive, but a common setup at the G3 costs 80,000. Medium booth. This is the larger booth in a better location. You should expect more visitors with this booth and have space to give away demos of our games. Cost 500,000 or a large booth for 1.5 million. With this package, we get our own section in the main hall of G3. We can expect a large number of visitors. Let's go for the medium booth. I want to get involved in this, but I want to hang on to a lot of my money because we're going to be doing an engine overhaul. It's going to be very expensive. We're going to make a medium game. We're going to get it published, marketed. It's going to be huge. It's just phenomenally huge. It'll be a little while though, so I want to hang on to some money. Build up some cash. Half a million dollars for a medium booth. Go. I suppose I could be doing something, shouldn't I? Couldn't I? Um, just train. Uh, game dev gems. No, I don't have research points. I have no research points. We need to do a quick uh, contract. I'll let you finish up. Ninjas completed. Yay, contract work. Something really technologically advanced. 1928 sprite sheet software. My god. We can try it. 45,000. Go for it. Go. We're good. We know what we're doing. Hasir's efficiency is very quickly dropping. It's at about the halfway mark. He's just scratching his head in confusion, not contributing very much at all. Game convention has started. That's our booth there. Look at dessert quest. Look at all these people popping up. I assume that's how many people are showing up. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. 73,382 visitors. That seems like a lot, but... Given how many figures are actually available, I don't think that's very successful. We had 73,382 people visiting our booth this year. We didn't make it in the top 100 booths this year. Once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. All right. That's fine. I mean, we attended. Contract failed, though. Uh. All right. Go on vacation. It's fine. And then uh, I'll see if I can polish off a quick contract deal myself. Game backdrops. We'll try it. Three weeks, though. Uh, I don't know if I can pull it off. Probably not. I think I'm just wasting money here. Sequels. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, for Hoku Gods? Um, Hoku Nihe Kwahab. Jehol. Yipiv. Bis. Jipiv. Six. Plus. Ige. One. Zio. D. Six. Ra. Five. Ra. Five. Eighty. Five. Nis. Purple. Or. Nine. Oz. Yeah, let's decrypt this. I know, I'm not making sense. This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. If you are interested, then transfer 57000 to the enclosed uplink location. We'll contact you. Agent Blowfish. Huh. This seems illegal. Let's try it. 57000 Oh, 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 Three wolp six quiz equals 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 equals. Also known as thank you for your business. You have successfully researched UFO. Oh my god, I can make XCOM. Come on, design, go. Okay, contracts are getting difficult. Hey, he's back though. Way to not help me, buddy. Uh, how was the vacation? I've actually just been losing money. We had over 5 million before, and now we're at 4.4 million. Research? Uh, I don't have research points. We need to get going here. Create custom engine. Simple cutscenes. Gamepad. Character progression. Better AI. Open world. 
This is going to be huge. I really wish we had 3D graphics, though. But we'll research sequels and we'll get a legit sequel to this. IT version 3.0. This one's huge. 185 tech points required to research this thing. Oh my goodness. Getting a lot of research points for it, though. At 11 research points, 12, 13, considering we started at, like, zero research points. And we are at $4 million now. The monthly fees just kind of slowly chipping away. Today, Vony has announced their new own... Let's try it again. Today, Vony has announced their very own console called the Play System. Apparently, the company has completely reworked their earlier Play System prototype after an Invento canceled the project. Wow, look at that. I gotta get me one of those. The new Play System comes with a CD-ROM drive and 32-bit processors. It's twice as many as before and is wholly owned by Vony. Industry professionals say that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Invento declined to comment. The Play System will enter the market next month. That's where our first game is going to be. Sorry, Ninvento, the Super TES is kind of cool. I got one there. I got one really early because I'm just excellent bros with Ninvento. And, you know, we, you know, just kind of like, hey, here's our beta system. You can have it for free. Help us market it. And I just blew them off completely. And I'm actually going to side with Vony. Today, the new game platform play system by Vony has been released. And we're about to annihilate this system. The new game engine IT version 3.0 is now complete. Let's see if I can find a publishing deal that works for what I'm doing. Medieval, any genre. Pretty cool. Minimum score 5, okay. I'm not really worried about minimum score, I think we've got it. It's for the Vini gear though. Any, dance RPG, uh, no. Business, uh, no. Space, uh, no. Oh, these are crappy contracts. It's either a really amazing dance RPG game that's a breakthrough, or a space game. It's a breakthrough. Space RPG? I was really hoping for like medieval RPG or something like that. All right. Space, any genre. All right. We'll try it. It's for everyone. It's medium. It's going to be huge. Space. Action, adventure, RPG simulation. Space adventure with a nice open world and everything like that. You know, maybe we should wait to see if there's another market trend. No, fuck it. I'm, no, uh, no. Um, because then if we do, it's probably just going to be like simulation or something. Um, space RPG. For the play system. 200000 for license cost. Yeah, we're doing it again. We're hinging all of our success on this. IT version 3.0. This is going to be massive. Cost. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back. I forgot to name it. Um, I, I, need a, I need a really good name. Like something that's really strong. Audience is mature. Okay, we'll go for that. I just noticed that. Um. Not sure where wormhole propaganda i don't know it sounds like a really weird ska band wormholes worm worms holes worms gallic deep space three yeah deep space is making a return it's gonna be excellent should have researched sequels <gasps> Should I research sequels? No, that's not yet. I can't yet. TD Graphics version 2. Go. A text-based adventure on the play system. Go. Uh, one bug already. Creating larger games is a significant task, and unlike in small games, one person cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of a game. To create a good game and to make best use of your team, you'll have to assign which of your team is responsible for which areas. Pick team members whose skills match the area to get the best result. When you assign a team member responsibilities, you will see their workload. Try not to overload them too much. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. 
Oh my god. Okay. I get it. Simple cutscenes, linear story with save game, steering wheel, gamepad, and character progression. Everything. What was that? Oh, story and quest. Oh, I get it. There you go. To make it like fully effective, you need to have it at a certain threshold. Okay, so not very much engine. Save game's kind of sort of just kind of there. Gameplay, very much though. I want the controls to be really good, character progression to be really amazing. And story and quests need to be pretty good. Simple cutscenes, really good. Linear story, fantastic. Hasir, work on the story and quests. God, I don't know if we got enough people for this. Um, I'll work on, I'll work on those two. Because if it remembers that, then uh, we're kind of screwed for the next portion. Like stage three, we're screwed on. Uh, this could be bad. Oh, we got a little bit of hype. Can we fill a position? Many workers hire too early and go bankrupt. It's best to take it slow. I know, I know. We'll go for uh, a game demo. Kind of sort of a low budget. I mean, 150,000. Well, no, I mean, we can we can splurge a bit. 200,000. I'm looking for somebody who's just a third person. Ideally good at design. We'll see if we can get them involved in this project. Yeah, because two people, this is a lot for two people to do. Better dialogues, level editor, and better AI. Eh. He's at 102%. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Hasir. He's in charge of level design and artificial intelligence, though. He is so technically advanced, it's going to be amazing. Kind of just balancing it out. Arthur B. Kind of balanced. Okay. Looking for somebody who's really good at design, though. There we go. Preston Hansen. Level 1, though. Ugh, man, he's kind of a scrub, isn't he? 203, 231. Okay. Janice Perry, welcome aboard. Diversity. Half male and female staff. Of course. We're not sexist. Are you going to help? I think I need to get you training. Staff, welcome training. Go. Whenever you're ready. There she goes. She had to scratch her head first. It was a really distracting itch. All right. Yeah, because Hasir's design is so bad the issue can i have like multiple people no okay i can't have multiple people doing it at least he turns yellow at like 120 percent, so you can actually overload people a good bit mono sun of course with an open world duh dennis perry you're in charge of that i'll take care of that no that's not gonna work too well there just have Janice Perry in charge of all of that. World design, graphic, and sound. She's still new. But I don't want to overload any of us. I'm not sure if this is going to work very well. No. Maybe. I don't know. Drink the coffee. Go. She's like stressed. It's like, welcome aboard. Hi again. I've heard that you have that you've been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow your team. I've updated our client list, so if you're looking for some contract work, let me know. Medium-sized contracts have been unlocked. Oh my gosh, medium contracts. Okay, this third stage hasn't been very good at all. This is not good. We need to flush this shit out. Oh my god, this game is such a flop. This is not good. I'm waiting. You guys better flesh this out hardcore. Still waiting. Alright, hype's dropping really quickly. We gotta go. <sighs> oh god, I don't got a feeling about this. This design is so bad because I had the dude who's just a complete tech nerd doing some of this stuff. I should have waited until, waited until we had a more balanced team first. Oh boy. It's okay. We got a lot of levels up, though. I leveled up. Hasir leveled up. Janice Perry got a little bit of experience. She's kind of just new and just kind of sat around, though. 
Level design got up, graphics leveled up, 2D graphics version 2 leveled up. Sound... Sound AI and world design are about to level up. <sighs> Let's release it. Due to an increase in experience, the following staff have earned a raise. Hasir leveled up, so now he gets a bonus of 13,000. Now costs 35k. 2D graphics version 3 and 3D graphics. <gasps> oh my god, the first reviews. It's going to be a flop. It's not going to be good. Not much fun. Star games. Their focus on gameplay served it very well. Utterly and uninspiring by Game Hero. RPG games work well on play system. Okay. Well, we got the strong audience. It's a new system. It's an RPG game. It works... Well, no, it doesn't... Well, yeah, it works well on the play system. We did an RPG. We did space RPG, I think. I think we're actually going to take a hit because of the, uh, the publisher is going to fine us because I don't think it did as well as it should have. The game doesn't live up to expectations. As per contract, a penalty will be applied. Yeah, I expected that. Seems the initial sales have fallen way below expected numbers. The game received moderate reviews. No, they didn't. Those reviews are bad. But it seems that the chosen platform isn't very popular with the target audience. Really? All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, we are selling a lot of units. Keep in mind we started this project at about 4 million. Yeah, this was a, uh, it's a learning experience. Another game convention. Let's go for just a small booth. We'll just set up a small little tent outside in the parking lot. We're losing fans. We're losing a lot of fans. I didn't release the game as early as I should have, so we lost a lot of hype, but that's kind of okay because I didn't want to overhype a really bad game. It seems that the market has normalized again with no particular strong trends. Yeah, we again ruined the trend, but in a negative way this time. Oh, boy. Deep Space 3 isn't doing very well. We'll see how our booth does. I, I don't think it'll do very well, but we'll see. Growing in popularity, and only 52,000. Worse than before. But for a small booth, maybe that's not bad. Didn't make it to the top 100 booths this year. Once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. We've lost fans, grand total. All right, you got to get some training, though. Um, game design for pirates. Go for it. You, research. Sequels. I got, th I got the 3D graphics going on. Making sure I have enough research points to actually do this. Still waiting for that uh, nice, I'm thinking medieval RPG that's going to just break the world. It's going to be amazing. People will shit themselves when they see this game. They'll be like, holy crap. Minus six fans. Uh. In two months, the Vena gear. Vena gear. Vena? Vena. 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 Yeah, the Vena gear will be taken off the market. Deep Space 3 is now off the market. It sold 425,000 units, generating 468,000 in sales. What did the game cost a dollar? <laughs> the hell. Um, I guess not very many initial sales, and as the game went on sale, and maybe a lot of used copies went around, who knows. Half a million in sales. It doesn't sound like much. Well, actually, it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't much. She's still learning. Develop sequel. We could do a sequel for Desert for Desert Quest or Game Player. Game Player profited 3.3 million. It was a music simulation game just out of nowhere. Didn't expect it to do very well. Um 5,000 fans of that music simulation. I mean, I guess we could make a sequel to it. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> Let's see here. Contract work. What are we looking at for the good contract? Like the medium contracts? I think this is some of these over here. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're there. 4320. Holy crap, 70,000. Wow, big pay. Big pay. Can we do it though? Design and develop a time tracking system. We'll try it. 
Everybody working hard on this one. Three dudes were pretty technologically advanced. Design is mostly her department. I got a bit of design too. It seems like the guy that you are is the most well-balanced. Oh, come on, technology. Oh, we're dropping the ball hard. Oh, we didn't do it. Oh my gosh. What a disappointment. All right, we got to get something out. And I'm thinking just a small... Well, not small. I mean, it'd be a $2 million game. It'd be a small, not a medium. We can't handle mediums yet. We need to get a more balanced team for mediums. The Vayner Gear is no longer supported. It's officially dropped off the face of the planet. That's fine. Rest in peace. But I'm thinking we should really do a sequel to a game. Get some more money. 